Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday, July the 22nd. And, um, it's 6.30 in the afternoon, and, uh, as I'm just starting this, I will tell you that I've been fighting the cold all day, and I have lots and lots of rest. It's now settled in my lungs, and I go into these coughing things that, that, uh, anyway, I had a ride planned that we were going to do today, but I just don't feel good enough and it's like 96 degrees out here just shy of it so what I'm gonna do instead you guys remember the uh, armrest install that I did on the RT the BRP armrest shockingly I did that on May 6th I can't believe it's been that long ago so what I'm gonna do that's 41 minutes worth of stuff so hopefully I can cut that down into an instruction video for a daily vlog that'll you know not be 40 something minutes long so uh, I'm gonna do that as a filler for today's vlog so uh, hang tight and the next scene you'll see will be the start of the BRP RT model only 2010 through 18 armrest install so there's our kit things that have to be removed is the is the back um, back pa passenger pad this this cover through here and both speaker pods need to be removed and uh <laughs> there's radio stuff attached and uh, you'll see this thing's not believe it or not um uh, they don't give you instructions anymore they give you instructions on where to find the instructions so it's www.instructions.brp.com and if you look they give you a time of one hour to do it what you don't understand, that's not one hour for you or I to do it. That's one hour that BRP would pay if something went wrong and they paid to have them replaced. So in other words, that is a warranty um, flat rate time. And you'll understand why us technicians scream when we have to do warranty stuff because they do not pay enough time ever. Guaranteed to lose time whenever you do warranty work. There's very few things that warranty time is... Good enough, you can make money on it. So anyway, that's uh, we got what tools I think I'm gonna need here: T20 and a T20 socket, and a T30, and then my gun. And this gun, this particular Bosch, set with the clutch set at seven. Actually, I'm finding that's going a little hot, so I'm setting it at six because uh, it's it's 7.5 newton meters for all the all the uh little t30 torque screws so uh anyway let me give me just a second we'll get going but anyway to get to the we're gonna first thing we'll do is take the back pad off so let's see how fast we can do this oh what the heck they're not t30s anymore found the change for 20 for 2018 yeah that's a t20 oh and they're wood screws now it doesn't go into a uh, a captured nut behind the seat. Whoops! And then you just loosen these because there's a there's a notch in it that allows it to slide out. Interesting. I didn't know they changed that. All right, so you kind of kind of slip up and pull the lid down a little bit, and it comes off. This used to be captured nuts. And you had to warn people because when they were putting the screws back in, they would push too hard with their tool and knock the, the nut out of its holder. Well, guess what? That seat cover is stapled down to this. You can't get the nut back. So other than people maybe over-tightening these and ruining the, the thing that way, that's something new. All right, so that's out of the way. That leaves a, a nice big hole here because you're going to need that when you're manipulating the uh, uh, speaker pods off of here. So the next step is a T30. Take the 20 off, 30. Gotta open your both bags. Oh yeah, they come tight from the factory. And make note, I see this mistake every time I work on a spider that someone's worked on. If it goes into black plastic, there's no plastic washer on the screw. If it goes into a painted part, it has that little plastic washer on there. Make note of what goes where. I see that every time. There'll be 
they're always mixed up. Nobody ever pays attention. If you're one of these people that can't can't keep track of stuff like that, get a, an empty egg carton or some way of organizing the uh, the bolts. I'll see screws that are supposed to have washers, don't have washers, and then I'll find the washer in a place where there's not supposed to be a washer. I'll see the, the wrong lengths, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's the craziest stuff you see. This can be a very tricky part, and people break these things. I even got accused of breaking one of these things. I broke one and learned my lesson, never broke another one again. If you don't pull these things out correctly, you're going to break these tabs off. And if you pull on it too sharply, if you bend it back too sharply, you'll snap that little corner off right there. So here's how I do it. I always go from left to right. So very carefully lift and you have to get it past the rubber handle. And at the same time, you want to get it uncaptured from the... Uh, from the back as well so just slightly turn this out and go straight up until and then get this to come loose until this thing clears which it's catching so that cleared these break off very easily and i always see them broken and then you got the one right here which is a much longer one than than they were before so yet another 2018 change and then do the same over here but don't don't hear me get it off don't bend back on it because when you do you'll snap that little thing off but when the door shut you don't see it so now the next step is to take the speaker pods out the left one's not that bad you just got the speaker wires to deal with the right one you have the um, radio antenna to deal with now these will have those captured nuts so the speaker pods still have the warning that the seat back used to have and I, there we are. And because this one has that bracket on there, I leave the left side on the left side. And I just set, because this one's easy because there's nothing in there. Usually it's a customer's bike and they have things in there, so I gotta be careful to, you know, organize those bolts. So you kind of come out and forward. And then you have just the speaker wires here, which I don't think that one was in. All right, so there's one pod. The trickiest part of this is pulling this uh, plastic, the colored piece off. They simply just show sliding it. It sits like this, just sliding it forward and coming out. Yeah, that doesn't work. So let's just sit out here in some daylight and take this thing apart. So the first thing that you're going to do is take the colored piece off. <laughs> that screw wasn't even seated all the way down. And this is where it gets really, really fun. So you got to get it to, to break free up here. Get that loose. Now you watch me talking about this thing. This will be the one that just literally falls right off. But see, this has got to come around the corner. At the same time, you're trying to release these little hooks, which will make more sense to you once I get it off. A beer piece says just simply slide back. And that doesn't work. There it goes. See, you're releasing a piece of assembly slag there but you're releasing these three and if you don't pull it back and get this to roll over at the same time um you're going to snap one of those off and that right there is where a cb antenna would go but that doesn't matter anymore on these but let's get the speaker cover off first set these screws over there there's that one I think, oh yeah, there, I knew there was a hidden one in here. And then this is where two of those hooks go in. And if you notice, there's a little locating pin there. See it? 
that has to be flush or you'll never get the hooks to go back in when you're reassembling and this kind of just slides over and this little nub in has a little locator and it cool how you have dual speaker grills now you used to have just the front one and now you got one that faces the the passengers budinski and these are just well nuts holding these in so don't again don't put pressure on them and the captured nuts i was telling you about when you're putting this thing back on when it's like this inside the tub you're putting those back on the uh, the seat used to have the same setup see the little plastic holder and the captured nut on the inside if when i'm putting this back on the bike i push on those screws as i'm putting them in it'll snap that nut out and the nut will be rattling around in here i have to take it back apart to get them out if you do that to the seat on the older 2017 and back that's now inside the seat cover you have no hope of getting it out Put the speaker oh. yeah nice we got washers underneath there that we're gonna have to contend with when we go back together where am I going to put you? I'm going to hide you right there so the magnet doesn't grab anything. All right. So now we're going to have to take this stock. What is... Oh, it's the nut. The captured nuts. I go on. Something's rattling. So even with my screwdriver, I don't have a ball head, which I do at work. So... Even this is a little difficult. There's not enough room to get it inside the speaker. And then it's at a weird angle outside the speaker. But I do have a little wrench. If it was too too tight. Yeah, see, even that one's at a weird angle. It's hard to keep getting a good bite on it here. Let's, let's revert to the wrench before we round off our torques here. Okay, what you're drilling, and that's... A further reason for taking the uh, speaker out is you're drilling these two top holes that were just these wood screws that went into uh, into the stock little armrest thing. The uh, the the actual armrest are using six millimeter bolts that go through. And again, there's some captured nuts in there. Do not push hard on those. They work great and they hold tight. Just don't push on them when you're <laughs> when you're putting it together. All right, so all four, I already put these at six. All four of the mounts, the one at the back, one at the side, and then the two underneath, all four of those need to be increased to uh to six millimeters, which is quarter quarter of an inch equivalent reason I mention that is I don't have a six millimeter bit but I do have a quarter of an inch Let's go nice and easy on her all right let me bolt her together you'll also notice in a little package you have four six by 16 millimeter and four 16 by 20 millimeters the two shorter because you got two sides the two shorter ones go underneath from the speaker and the two longer ones go in these two holes so uh don't get that mixed up okay there's one armrest installed so again the six by 20s go in the back and on the inside and the six by 16s go underneath where the speaker's at and I'll, I'll show you how that anchor works once I get to that so I'm gonna reassemble this and uh, putting that the the uh, the colored panel back on is way easier than taking it off you just need to make sure that this speaker grill that that little pin matches this hole or you'll be wondering why you're fighting it. And the reason being is this has to lay perfectly flush against that for the two hooks in the colored panel. Where, yeah, it's behind me. The colored panel goes in. So if that's not aligned and not laying flat, 
uh, the little the little slide pins won't go in correctly, and you could break them. One armrest installed. That's nice. That's really nice. Heck yeah. All right. Let's go flop her on the bike right quick, shall we? Let's get our speakers in. It's impossible to mix them up because one's bigger than the other. Just make sure you're pushing in the clip. I've had people come in, my left rear speaker's not working. And BRP got a little crazy or somebody else was in there and slid it beside it and it eventually got bad contact and quit working and I almost swear that the small one on here was not on there right when I took it off and here so we gotta get around the the 12 volt adapter and the armrest and work your way in there so is that rubber boot doing anything? No, man. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. It slides right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, BRP. That's nice. Not that I've ever seen any issues with debris getting in there. It's just nice to know it won't. And I'm not... Pop there it goes. Gotta make sure you're, you're seated in there. <clears throat> and here's where this anchor is going to come to play. That boss in there is going to keep going to give it strength and of course the backrest is going to be laying against there all right and i threw those screws down in the bottom here so what i do find the holes get them started by hand so where's that one right there i know you can't see because i can't see well that doesn't really mean that you couldn't see it so get them started by hand, and very lightly. Put pressure on them, just enough to hold the bit in and let her grab. You can worry about the, the snugging down later. Just get them down to the bottom. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. It's gonna give that thing extra strength with that anchor right there. Heck yeah. Look at that. It clears the door when the, or the lid, when the lid's open. See BRP man there thinking. Thinking people, them BRP guys. That's nice. All right, so I'm going to pull the, uh, um, the right side off, and I will talk to you guys about um, dealing with the, with the antenna. Um, first of all, because you're going to have to take the speaker pod off, you need to unspin and pray that it does unspin. Somebody didn't put it on too tight. Unspin your uh, radio antenna. Oh boy, and she's on there tight too. Because I got, it, got a zip tie on there. But anyway, um, oh, they changed it. So you just need a 8 millimeter socket. Oh, here, there's a 7 millimeter. This is your antenna wire. You just reach in there and loosen that. And this will just spin out of the way. Be careful, there is a little, little brass washer that's on there that you can easily lose. Then an 8 millimeter socket to knock that off. And a pair of wire cutters to, to cut the wire. There's where that boot sits in the in the cover. Alright. And when you're cutting these things, make sure you're, you're just getting the zip tie. How many of you have reached in to cut a zip tie somewhere and got more than a zip tie? You nipped a wire. I did that on an ECM once. Let me tell you, that was not cool. Because the wire was right at the base of the coupler, the large coupler that plugs into the ECM. It's not good. All right, let's get some tools out of my hand here so I don't get all fumbly finger here. All right, so I wanted to show you. Kelly goes, don't get me in the camera, my hair and face. They, all they're going to see is a silhouette from here, woman. 
So the anchors, not only is it gonna get held by that little notch, but this whole little, little frame piece here is gonna fit nice and tightly in there. So unless the seat falls off, you got a good anchor on the side. See how that's gonna, those, that, that boss is gonna match the inside of that. Perfect. Thinkers and BRP people, thinkers. They may be French Canadians, but we can't hold any fault on that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I only joke with that because they give us a bunch of grief. You gotta give it back, Jack. All right, let me get this together. I'm gonna prop the little woman on there and see what she's thinking on that. All right. Oh man, there she is. The little woman's even jumped up. She don't want me to film her. She says she's all scraggly. But uh, she jumped up. It's very comfortable. Man, that's really, really nice. You know, that just looks like that should have been there from the beginning, you know it? Yeah. That just properly belongs on there. Heck yeah. That just looks comfortable back there. Might have to take me for a white ride. <laughs> that's cool. Nice and solid. Not all janky feeling like some of the ones I felt before. That is really cool. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching the, the install video of the BRP factory accessory armrest. And I, I don't see anything in there that wouldn't make these things retrofit all the way back to 2010. RT models only. Cool. All right, thank you guys very much. Talk at you later. Well, uh, well hello there, YouTube. Got a bark as soon as I start to say that. Um, I don't know why I feel compelled to tell you this because it's overwhelmingly obvious by the time you got here, the uh, armrest install video is going to run long today. Man, it's just too hard to. Uh, I think I'm about halfway through it. And I'm looking at all the clips I have left and how much time I have left. I don't know how long this thing's going to be, so I apologize for the long one. But uh, if you decide you want to put your own armrest on there, it's not that big of a deal. Just the instructions are a little somewhat vague, as they usually are. But anyway, that'll get the job done. But uh, anyway, um, a couple hours since I talked to you last. It's 8.35. And... As far as we can tell, the sun's down. It's, but it is cooling down, yeah. which is very nice. Sunset is at 8.55 tonight. So 20 minutes early. I mean, I can kind of see the gold back there, but I mean, for us, it's down, you know. But the twilight lasts a long time. So anyway, I'm going to cut this thing short so that I can spend more time on I'm sure you guys want to watch more of the install thing, but that's over by the time you got here. Yeah, <laughs> so. and you know this. <laughs> No mouse open, I can make it through without golfing. All right, I'm, I'm going to roll. Let her do her thing and I'm going to roll. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Monday or Tuesday are awesome. Heck yeah. And thanks for all the... Finally today at about, I don't know, 2 o'clock, somewhere in there, I finally <laughs> sat down and went through comments from the last two days. So I apologize for uh, not getting back to those. And... Thank you all for all the well wishes that's been going on for two days, and I'm sure it'll be more because of this one. But anyway, thank you guys very, very much. You guys are yeah, so you guys awesome. Yeah, are so sweet. So let me go in there and finish up an armrest video for you guys, and we'll see how tomorrow works out. All right. All right. You guys take care. All right now. Bye-bye.